Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny, and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to book two, episode six of Korra, The Sting. We just saw Korra get engulfed by a spirit wave yeah. or whatever. Not sure what's going on there. Definitely scary. She's dead. It's over. No. <laughs> if you've enjoyed our Korra journey, make sure to like and subscribe down below for reaction content every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or if you want to see it early, you can check out the Patreon linked in the description below. And also, if you join the Patreon, you can ask us questions that will answer after every episode. All right. I think that's about it. I'm super excited for this episode. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm very excited. I think it's going to be great. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Okay, so um, I tagged. Oh Whoa. no, bombs? Good lord. So we're in the Who is throwing these? Voyage. Yeah. Oh my god. Is it, it's not fair. He has access to that kind of pack. Oh. Water vendors. It's probably so the north. Scary. Yeah. Varric is not going to be happy about this. No. Oh yeah, they're, so they're attacking Varric's ships. Right. And Unalak sent people to protect the southern portal. Mm hmm. Okay. So they've set up a little camp there. So, here's my question. The twins were tasked with getting Korra. Mm -hmm. Was that spirit thing like a part of their plan? Did Unalak control it to make it attack? Like, or it looked like the twins were surprised that they saw it. Yeah, and they left afterwards, which was interesting because they were specifically told to get her alive. Yeah. So, it seemed like they left once they thought she was dead. Where is he? Father said he would meet us at this location. Oh, He'll nope. Be here. Oh, oh my, oh my God. wait, so he can just go he can go back and forth. Portal? Were you just in the spirit world? Oh boy. Never mind that. Where is ne the avatar? Um she was within our grasp. Never mind that. We're just not gonna talk about that? It's a dark control. spirit attack. You didn't get her? The avatar is dead. My disappointment is immeasurable. Mm. So I don't really buy that. Highly doubt that, but also <laughs> So you he can't can just stroll out of a sphere port and they go. And then you say, I'm not just going to talk about it. Never mind. I'm not going to talk about it. That makes it seem like he can use it to travel, which. Or he's like going in to talk to something or like to communicate with the spirit. Okay. I have this theory. Maybe there's like this evil spirit that's like teamed up with him, almost like a sell your soul to the devil type situation. Ah. Maybe Unalak paid a price in order to get the forbidden knowledge about spirits and he like answers to some sort of like a co. I see. Okay. And but the other portal's not open yet. Interesting. How is he going to make Korra open it? Well, we've seen that Korra has emotional attachment. Maybe he like threatens her friends or like imprisons her, tortures her until she does it. And Something makes like her. That. Okay. So are we about to see Nuck Tuck? Yes. Oh my gosh. Naga in paint is so funny. Are you funny. kidding me? And she's from the north. Why would she, sorry, from the water tower. Why would she need paint? Just for the aesthetic. Now we must stop the evil Unalak. I love this. He's so funny. Southern Water Tribe is mine. Gives me Ember Island players vibes. Yeah, for real. With my waterbending doomsday device. You're going down. No, it's you who are going down. Propaganda. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Georgie and Rotan. I will I end love the evil outfit. Unalak's reign of terror. For I am you want one? Yes. <laughs> Comment if you want me to do a cosplay. Stop it. I gotta get the muscles You're first. You're not just the hero of the South. You're our best. Talking, Pablo? You two are the best snow raccoon in Arctic Panda. Snow raccoon. Arctic Panda? I am weak. Ginger. Why did they dye Ooh, their hair if it's in black and white? <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> yes. I pen out of That's time. fantastic. Sold me. Mateo, I, I'm really happy for you. I'm let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. 
Again, why the hair dye if it's in black and white? Yeah. Wasn't the whole question? point to sell okay, more? The well, effective piece of propaganda, the crowd was being whipped up. Maybe mm -hmm. Bolin becomes sort of a symbol for the South. That's just funny. Well, and you can't not love Bolin. Yeah, like, he's but they all so know him cute. from Pro Bending. Right, so they're a huge fan of his. Okay. They're just having fun people. with it. Yes, yeah, star! Yes, yeah, star! I mean, it's a fact. For real. Have you ever tried to force a monkey marmot to ride a bicycle? Uh, <laughs> not that I can recall. Of course you haven't. You can't force monkey marmots to do anything. They've got to want to do it themselves. Mmm. Right. Really some deep themes being mm -hmm. explored. And before long, they'll persuade the president to lend his troops to the war effort. Interesting. I mean, propaganda is a powerful tool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My evil plan is working. I've captured Noctox's beautiful girlfriend. So there he oh, is. Yeah. Oh, I will save my Look at him. Legend. He's just floating. Flying but stop. He could jump. <laughs> oh. Your time is up. I'll show you who's boss. Earthbending style. I said earthbending <gasps> style. Whoa. <laughs> we love the effects. Very cool. High quality. It's no use fighting, Doc Talk. My oh, no. makes bending impossible. And are they going to bring the forces oh. in or something? Please. Power weakening. Look <laughs> terrible. Will this be the end of Knock Talk? Knock terrible. Can escape from Unalak's trap and save the beautiful ginger? Find out next week on The Adventures of Knock Talk, Hero of the South. I'm obsessed. That's so fun. Wow. She's not too excited. We got chemistry on screen, am I right? Yeah, on screen. <gasps> What's wrong? Are you mad because I left you in the clutches of the evil Unalak? I'm Bro. gonna save you in the next episode, Ginger! Let's work through this! <laughs> Oh, Lynn. Okay, struggling. so he likes her. Yeah. Darn well, it, Julie, haven't I told you I Do you think he actually likes her? No, he just. No. Well, Lynn, somebody pointed out that when you look at the way he complimented Korra, it is all physical attributes. We haven't really seen a deep Bolin. Like, he cares a lot, mm -hmm. but as of right now, he's still a little immature in the way that he tries to love people, I Interesting. think. Like, he always is kind of just like, girl, you Aesthetic. know? like Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. I think that we're seeing him go through these heartbreaks and these little rejections so that eventually, he, when he finds the one, it's going to be very different in the way he approached it. I'm talking about Varric. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at that mustache. I right? I can grow that. News without first getting good no, news. I can't. No. Uh, well, the good news is it looks like your first mover has gotten a great reception. That's old news! Let's go. Yikes. You said forever oh. I drive alone past your street. Is it true? Oh. I'm so sorry. Your entire shipment was stolen. Without that sale, oh, no. I don't know how much longer I can Oh, that's what that ship was. Going. Yeah. What am I gonna do? Don't worry. Well, she was like, is it true that you and Korra broke up? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was Chief thinking. Beifong is about to question the captain of the ship. Oh, so we survived. it's been a long mm -hmm. day, but walk me through what happened. We were ambushed about 30 clicks outside the harbor. We never heard them coming. This is the third attack this week, at about the same location. Yeah, and smack dab in Republic City's jurisdiction, which means it's out of their jurisdiction. We know it's smack in. dab in the jurisdiction. Mm. This is very clearly not just affecting the water tribe at this point, so I'm hoping that the president comes to his senses. That combined with all the people being riled up by the propaganda. It's got to be Northern Water Tribe. They're trying to stop supply lines to the south. I agree. Is there anything else about the attack you remember? Anything unusual? There is one thing. The bombs exploded in a way I've never seen before. They didn't have fuses. It was like they were being detonated remotely. Like the bombs at the cultural center. Yeah. Yep. Is Wait, that a new invention? I well, it's just different from the bombs we've seen before, and it makes mm. him zombie, realize that it's the same I people. I can't believe they took my fifth favorite ship in the Varric Industries fleet. Mm. Named her after my mom. <laughs> Rest in peace, Rocky Bottom. Without the money from that His ship, mom was named Rocky the Bottom. Industries is almost broke. Chief. I think there's a link between this attack what and was the attack that? the cultural center. What do you think mm. you're doing? I think he's saying his mom had Solving a rocky butt. He's interrupting. Did any of the people who Again. attacked you have one of these in their hand? Where's the trigger? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the trigger? Where is it? I think it's a remote detonator. 
It was too dark to see anything. Mako, Chief, I don't think that people who attacked were Northern Water Tribe. Of course they were Northern Water These Tribe. These guys might be paid off. Bending. Interesting. Was this one of the guys who attacked? No, he didn't see anything. Oh, Mako's kind of out of line here. Nice Again. Try, Mako, leave now. Great work, everybody. Another That's so embarrassing. Dynamic mustachio duo. Wait, I think Mako might be onto something. Chief, I know it's a long shot, but I have an idea how we can catch these guys. All right. Yeah, let's all listen to the rookie. He's doing a better Screw job these guys. They're yeah. awful. Who's hungry? Enough. Who's hungry? I don't want to hear your lame-brained rookie ideas. You're a oh, beat boy. cop, not a detective. Now hit the street and do your job. <laughs> They're not doing their job. Stupid mustaches. Yeah. Forget the that. mustache duo. The sting. The sting. Operation. I was sting. Thinking we'd a bait ship, take it out into the open ocean and capture whoever attacks it. Okay. Let's do it. It's not that easy. For the plan to work, we need the police, and Beifong already said no. We can make it work. Just the two of us. I don't know. I don't want to go behind Beifong's back. Uh, are you are you getting like a chemistry vibe right now uh not not particularly actually oh okay future industries is all i've left of my family i think she's just trying to save her business I think. Hmm. okay what's frustrating me is that mako was like when the president went by and was like you swore an oath blah 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 yeah he spilled the beans and now he's like i'm gonna go behind lens back and do a massive sting operation right? like you were more passionate about helping the ships than Korra. And her family not die. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. That's that, wild. Mako, like, just get your crap together, boy. First of all, we'd need a ship. <laughs> you need a Very ship. I have a ship. ship. I want in on whatever you're talking about. I love being in on plans. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I love not knowing things. All right, I'm in. Gotta let's love Varric. Yeah, let's go behind I... the police chief's back. I'm getting really bad vibes from the two of them right now. What? Wait, when you say bad... Bad is in chemistry between the two of them. I don't know what you're seeing. I, I don't know either. I can't put my finger on it. This might just be my anxiety the girlfriend thing. I don't know. Something about this. <laughs> yeah. So it's her best female friend and her ex-boyfriend. Yeah. I don't think so. Hmm. I could be totally wrong, Empty and if shit. I am, I'm gonna look really stupid. Okay, no, so we're putting nothing in there. But I can't even tell you what my evidence is. I have no evidence. It's just, that's okay. it just like raises the hair on yeah. the back of my neck. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's I don't okay. like the way they're interacting. I don't have a problem with it because Cora and him were so toxic. I don't think Asami ever gives him another chance though. Okay, all right. If it were up to me, I'd never blank again. Get back with Mako. <laughs> Let's get this sting operation going. Yeah. Not yet. We need some extra manpower. What about Korra? No better muscle than the Avatar. Right. We're uh, broken up. Korra. Yeah, actually, she's um, she's out of town right now. Uh, yeah, okay in the too? spirit realm. Yeah, yeah. Forget about Korra. I'll go talk to Bolin. Oh, nobody's gonna check in on Korra. They're not gonna know. No, she's No, they're gone. not gonna realize she's hey, gone. Mom! Hey. Oh, man. Is that one of the perks of being a star? You get lots of cash. <laughs> is this a marble statue of you? It's awesome. Oh my goodness. We don't even have a hat. <laughs> That's because we've never had a hat rack. And now we do. Interesting. So now we can get hats. Fantastic. I think you need to take a little dippity dip. I don't have time to take a dippity dip, okay? I'm trying to catch who's ever been attacking the Mako saying I need your dippity help. dip. Very fine. funny. Ugh, I don't know. It's becoming busy. conceited. Like, I'm so tub. busy. I'm maintaining my instrument. Even if I wanted to go, my schedule wouldn't allow it. Four o'clock, wallow in self-pity. Four thirty, stare into the abyss. Five o'clock, solve world hunger. Tell no one. As an actor, my body is my instrument. Are you gonna help or not? You know, I recall not a time wrong. when I needed your help, and you basically told me to get a light. So that's a no. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know, Mako. Figure it out. Remember? That's what she said to me. Hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> he was so close to having like oh. completely. Oh he my god. Out. Yeah. Dora, this is a good idea. No, but it's our last resort. Who are they getting? Hey, Mako. Whenever you think we did, we didn't do it. Triads? I'm not here on police business. I'm running an off the books operation, and I thought the triple threats might yep. be a piece of the action. How big a piece? 
So he's getting the triads involved? That's a terrible so, idea. Right? Mr. Law and Order needs our help, huh? Hmm. What's in it for the triple threat? Oh, it's people from the first I episode. I friends yeah. with the Avatar. I might be able to convince her to give Shady Shin his bending back. Sounds good to me, boss. Oh, he can... She can give what back the bending. The right, but she's not going to give it back to criminals. Yeah. All brand new and top of the line. They can be yours if you help. I oh, boy. We got ourselves a deal. All right, Mako. How are you going to enlist the help of the triads? Poor decision. After literally risking your girlfriend's family's life, because you can't just shut up when the president says, are they planning something? And now, Mako. still a cop, still a police officer. He hasn't like unsigned his contract. <sighs> He's collaborating with criminals promising that Cora will give them their bending back. That's like the offer. Yeah, it. the fact that he just offered, offer period. Giving back bending when you've broken up with the Avatar, come on. Well, okay, so that's one pro There are so many different issues that I have with yeah. this. So that in and of itself is an issue. Even if she were like, you can totally use the fact that I can give people bending back as like a bargaining chip. Yeah. They're still a criminal. Yeah. You're a police officer. And you're literally putting weapons into their hands. Yeah. This guy's shady. Really oh, his scary. Name's literally shady Shin. Yeah. yeah. And they have to all work together. This is a terrible yeah. idea. This is, this is not a good idea. So keep your eyes peeled and stay quiet. I agree. Keep quiet, mouth zip. Don't say a word. That's the best thing to do when you're trying to ambush somebody, which is what we're doing here. And it's basically what I'm always doing. I mean, I am a gangster after all. Two toad pin. <laughs> Please. He's so stereotypical. Oh, right. Jeez. So, what's it like dating the Avatar? Is he not going to tell on, anyone that they've broken up? He kind of has to. Dang, there's nothing to know. I broke up with her. Okay, ah. here we go. When? Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. That's an interesting point, Asami. Yeah. Why didn't he tell you? <laughs> you broke up with the Avatar. Drill. And action! Forget about me. You must capture the evil Unadoc before he gets away. No! I'll never leave you! Kiss on the script. Oh, Bolin. Sorry, I kind of lost myself in the moment. It just felt so right. That's a little uncomfy. It did, huh? Your girlfriend's no. about to die, and instead of untying her... Negative points, Bolin. Yeah. Wait a minute. Maybe that will work. Yes! It's genius! Everybody take five. Except for usually. Grab the tweezers. I've got some neck hair issues to resolve. <laughs> <laughs> so, that kiss. I liked it. And it seemed like you liked it too. Uncomfortable, Lynn. Mm. You're confusing Ginger the actress with Ginger the character. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm totally getting like a weird vibe. <laughs> I like that our right characters now. have the like same name. Ago, right? You shooting, you were into me, but now you're not. That's because Ginger loves Nuk Tuk, not Bolin. But Nuk Tuk is Bolin. I'm a hero. <sighs> okay, that was a little uncomfortable. Mm. Six toes. Because you have two extra toes. That's right. That and makes no sense. Ping on the south side. Oh no. Wait, guys, do you hear that? I didn't hear anything. Nope. <sighs> it's taking so long. You just gotta relax. Like uh, I wanna be invaded. <laughs> try taking your shoes off. I'm gonna check it out. So how long do we have to stay out here? I told you, it's gonna be a few hours. What do you have? A hot date? Actually I do. And I wanna look my best. I gotta have a whole routine, okay? <laughs> well, your date's gonna have to wait. We were paid to keep Mako and that dame distracted for a Whoa. few hours. Yep. So that's what we're gonna do. See, this is why I never get dates. Of course. Ew. Why is she watching? Uncomfy. That's weird. Well, it was fucking one of yes. Disgusting! I just overheard Shady Shin and Viper. We've been double-crossed. It's a trap! We have to get off this ship. Oh boy. And they've been caught. Oh no. I mean, Mako is a powerful okay. bender. But I think he's a very underrated bender. Okay. Like, cause like, when you look at what he can do, like, he was the only one who, like, really landed a hit on a mod. Mm hmm Before Gore Airbend. So they just left the boat? Yeah. So the boat's oh just out God. there? It's gonna get stolen. Oh boy. I mean, barrack has got money to burn. Yeah. Look at Asami. I love that Asami drives everything. That's right. badass. Let me drive the bull. Oh, 
Oh no! That's not what you want. Yeah, you don't want to be in water when you're fighting a waterbender. Right? That just... Just not a fair fight. Especially the ocean. Mm -hmm. Oh no! You can't drive anything like that. Oh or I guess boy. you can. Intense little boat chase. We like yeah, this. Yeah, for real. Do you think they'll just hurt all these other boats too? I don't know. There we go. You're mad! Ah, you're afraid to get wet. <laughs> hmm. One down, one to go. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Come up fast. That's no. not good. Oh! Uh, it's got hit by a boat. That's really scary. What in the world is he gonna do? Marco, hang on to something. All right. Nice. What was that all about? Someone paid the triple threats to keep us distracted. Distracted? From what? Oh no. From what? The ship. No, no, not the no. ship. There's something else. Oh, Cora? Does somebody have Cora? No. Stole everything. Oh. No. They stole all of her tanks. Oh, no. Wait, so they hid all the real tank shipment in a warehouse and then they got stolen. No. Oh. Well, that's why you can't work with the triple threat. For real. Dang, but that stinks for Asami. Asami really is just business wise having some right? struggles. Right, not that doing very not well. And wants. it's not her fault at all. Not at all. It's really sad. sad to see. Yeah. Company. It's over. We should check out your other warehouses. Maybe they didn't have time to hit them all. You don't understand. Everything I had was in here. We have to search the place for evidence. Oh no. We can find a lead. Mako, it doesn't matter anymore. I can figure this out. Just stop. It's over. Oh. I give up. Well, I'm not giving up on you. They better not get back together. No, 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 I no, fucking... no! Mm. I told you. I told you. Sorry. I told you. I... Uh. Mm -mm. Oh, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, you called it. Anyway, I gotta run. Bad vibes. I'm gonna find out who did this, and I know just who to ask. So they just wait. Okay, so you were right. You were right. You were right. You were right. You completely saw it from the beginning. You completely just had that innate sense. You knew. You were right. Here's the thing. I think you're right. Obviously. I knew it. You were right. I was right. You knew it. I knew it. You knew it the whole time, buddy. I knew it the whole time, buddy! I don't have any problem with the way they're interacting. <sighs> well, I mean, there's no problem, because they're allowed to kiss. Him and Cora broke up. He broke up with Cora, yeah. They just broke up. She's kidnapped. Well, they don't know And that. They he's don't know that. kissing her she kissed female him. best friend. She kissed He him. kissed her back. No, he did not. Well, kind of, like maybe a little, but like Come mostly on. he was uncomfortable with that. You could see he was like, oh, I'm okay, not giving up on you. Forward. I'm going to go figure out who did. No, 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 no. Rare occasion. I did I think, think that so. Mako did not do that much wrong there. I think that it was mostly Asami there, honestly. I love Asami, but I think that she went in for the kiss, and when it was over, Maka was like, okay, I'm comfy, and then tried to just move on because he just didn't want to mess up their friendship. Like, he really didn't no, seem to like, what do you think happened? absolutely not. I'm not giving up on you. You're allowed to say And then to just friend. leans in. Come on. He's a on. police officer. No. I don't. Mm -mm. Hey, so we're Michael. interrogating hey, Two Toes, I think his I name is. Who hired you to double cross us? I don't know. I think you do know. And you're gonna tell me, or we're gonna have to change your name to No Toad Ping. We oh, Two Toad know. Ping. You have to believe me. We never met the guy who hired us. Why does he have you to believe you? To believe You've done nothing that? but lie to him. Yeah. Left the hideout, some mook showed up and said his boss would pay us to keep you distracted. We've never seen him before. We ain't seen him since. Come on, Marco. You know who is behind all these attacks right? on the boats? I never lie to you with my lucky toes on the line. Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Bolin, have you seen Varric around? Bolin. Does he only respond to Nuk Tuk? Nuk Tuk. Yes. Oh, oh come on. Oh, that's he's so method. He's irritating. Gone method. Where's Varric? I need to ask him something. Mm, can't say that I've seen him, but I've been kind of busy, you know, rehearsing for my big scene. There's gonna be some crazy pyrotechnics. That's mover speak for explosions. We need Nuk Tuk on set, running explosion scene. Or sometimes we just call them explosions. Anyway, wish I could <laughs> stand around here and chit chat, but you know, I gotta go shoot my big scene. So, can, come on. They didn't need to feed into his okay, ego. Right? Clear. Camera's rolling and action. Ginger, stay down. I'm coming for you. Is it gonna somehow help him solve something, Mako? It's the remotes. It's the remotes. They're using the same remotes. Oh. oh. How did you rig those him. To go off like Wait. That? Neat, huh? It's a Varric Industries exclusive. Here, check it out. It's fucking Varric. Wait. It's fucking Varric. Wait. Is he attacking his own shipments so that it looks like the North is doing bad things so that Republic City will get involved because it's in their jurisdiction? Probably. He's sabotaging himself. Yeah, and he can afford to. Yeah, but, he, and but he's ruining what? Asami. Yeah, for his own benefit or somebody stole Varric's technology okay that's a possibility someone working no way Varric? somebody from the north used Varric's technology to make it look like the north so that Mako would figure out that it looked like Varric to frame Varric no nobody no, nobody no. thought on that level that's too complex no. Varric. it's the same Sorry, exploder I I know oh boy hello what are is you he, doing? He can't be evil. He just saved my company. Varric bought a controlling interest in future industries. Oh. Isn't that great? He was just trying yeah, to buy her business. I'm always there to stand up for the little guy. Oh, no. Especially if that little guy can help. No, the music's making me feel that way. I think guy. he's a good guy. I think he's so a good guy. Saying, His eyes are you think you know who hired doing. The triple friends? Yeah. Oh. And I'm real close to proving it. I'll fill you in later. I don't... I don't get bad vibes from Varric specifically. Oh, you it don't, looks bad. You're just not getting bad vibes this episode. Okay. I think it's... Oh. Cora. Is she in the spirit realm? Where is she? What? Oh, whoa. What is this? Okay, she's not in the spirit realm. She can bend. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We're here to help you, Avatar Cora. Who's... Who's Avatar Korra? No memory? What? What happened to you? How did you end up on our island? I... She has no know. idea. Oh, I it completely took her memory. Anything. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, my God. Oh, no. What is happening? Is that the end? They can't end an episode on this. Stop yep. it. So Korra's just lost. And Korra doesn't, doesn't even know that she's Korra. She doesn't even know that she's the Avatar. But doesn't know what the Avatar is. Thanks for watching that episode. Um, but before we discuss that crazy ending further, let's head to the episode verdict. Thank you for watching that episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you want to see reaction content every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to check out the Patreon linked in the description to see episodes early and ask us the questions we're right about to answer. Question one, Schreiber asks, We've been getting a lot of focus on Mako. Mm -hmm. What do you think about his character right now? Mako's character right now, he is incredibly inconsistent in a way that really is frustrating to yeah. me. I am still not over the fact that he betrayed Korra and her family. And then literally the next episode is like, I'm going to do a thing behind Beifong's back. Yeah, like just because it just that doesn't make any sense to me. And there was no explanation on his part as to why it's different or like not literally, literally the, the exact, exact same. Same thing. thing. Exactly. Except for maybe worse because exactly. you answer to a police chief more than you answer to the president. Exactly. And all he had to do was say nothing. Yeah. He could have just been like, yeah, no, there's nothing. They were Versus walking like away and he said, actually, actually, let me just like completely yeah. throw my girlfriend and her family under the bus. Yeah. So that doesn't make sense to me. I think he's really close to finding out the thing with 
Varric, yeah. or at least figuring out what's going on and with why that. exactly he's doing it. Exactly. So I think that drive and motivation is really important to the show, but it's a little bit frustrating because it seems inconsistent to me. Yeah, that makes sense. The other half of that question, well, so I totally agree. But the one thing I will say is I think he's still a teenager at this point, and it, he just seems a little lost. Like it's his brother's not really there for him right now. Um, he was he keeps trying to do his job and keeps getting shut down by those mustache people when he <laughs> when he does the right thing in his job according to his oath his girlfriend and him break up like he's really having some struggles and i'll give him that but also there's some points where he's just making blatantly bad decisions and doing things that don't make sense yeah so i'm frustrated with this character right now but maybe it's gonna lead to something good mm -hmm. we'll see emerald phoenix asks what do you think varick's end game is you know okay so such a good question oh, geez. It is a really good question. So I will say off the bat, I think Varric is a good person. I think that huh. while he is a bit of a like tycoon, I think that I still get good vibes from him. The thing we saw when he walked into the room with Asami and Varric was one of the first times I've seen a clip from this show and heard really ominous music, but I didn't feel like it matched what Varric was saying, which makes me mm. think that that scene was sort of shot from Mako's perspective of him walking in and being like, oh, I'm putting all Something the dots together. Wrong. Exactly. And I think that maybe somebody is framing Varric, or maybe not framing, because it's not obvious. Like, Mako did have to dig for it, but like, using Ma Varric's technology somehow. If it wasn't from Mako's perspective, and that was an objective scene, then Varric looks pretty bad. It doesn't look good. But yeah. I just hope, maybe it's just hope. I really like Varric, so I hope he's not doing anything bad. But his endgame, the guess I have for his endgame, and this is super complicated, would be he is sending out ships with Asami stuff on it, letting them get attacked by his own people that he's hiring, then gonna blame the North for doing it. It's in Republic City jurisdiction, so the city's gonna have to go after it, send, send the troops. And the, the only part that didn't make sense out of that was, oh, you're kind of screwing Asami in that way. But now he's buying, helping save Asami's business. The only thing that looks kind of shady is that he's going to be like a majority holder in the business, which makes me think that everything in this fits together, except for he should just bail out Asami and not take control. All right. That was very complicated. I'm sorry, but. Okay. I agree with that. And I'm going to take it a step further. Mm -hmm. I think he is making it look like the North is stealing the ship so that Republic City has to send an army and use Varric's tools in in the war mm. and so he'll make bank from that obviously and now that he controls a majority of Asami's business he's gonna yeah. make so much money from that the only thing he needed was for Republic City to send their armies so that the president would buy a bunch of stuff from him hmm. Andrew Wynn asks between Unalak's traditional spirit-centered ideology and the current realities of an amoral industrialized society how can the avatar find balance that's a deep that's question but so oh wow that's such a good question I think it's gonna be really hard for her which is why I think that kind of the more modern an avatar gets the more complex their responsibility as the it's avatar not is dry. exactly um because the whole thing with the avatar is that they have to be the connection between the spirit world and the regular world and as the regular world becomes more distant from the spirit world it's going to be harder and harder to be that bridge yeah yeah i i totally agree i think that i mean it's a bit like this world like the the world back in the day like back in the day 1600s before then like dark ages like was so focused on like religion i think exactly. that's sort of like the spiritual side mm -hmm. of um this world and as the times became more and more progressive and we became industrialized it's more of a side component rather yeah. than the main component which i mean like in the real world separation of church and state is a good idea but like in a world where spirits actually physically manifest and are like actively shaping the world around like the connection needs to be stronger mm -hmm. and um i think that it's difficult for her to find balance but maybe this journey of her losing her memory maybe she'll be like to come back in those people seem to be wearing outfits that found her like they were part of a society maybe they're very spiritual maybe she'll come back and because she doesn't have her preconceived notions of i'm not spiritual she'll be able to actually be spiritual oh that would be cool you know mm -hmm. walking in as an airbender with no memory Memory. Yeah. I feel like that's the definition of meditation. It's just a not know anything. Mm -hmm. Empty head. I think no it's thoughts. difficult to find balance. Hopefully Cora finds a way and maybe opening up these portals will like bring her closer to the spirit world. All right. I think that's about it for this episode. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below if you're excited for uh, our next episode, uh, which is coming this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're really excited to bring you that. And check out the Patreon link in the description to see episodes early and ask us the questions we just answered. All right. I'm super excited for next episode. How are you feeling? I think it's going to be great. I'm excited. All right. Let's get it. Let's go.